Hello folks, happy Monday. So I just got a new toy and when I say a new toy, it's not a new guitar, a new pick, a casing pick. And um, I've always been curious about these. Um, I probably had a pick that like that and I kind of wanted to do a quick comparison. So um, I don't know the full history of, of casing as like a, a, a material, but you know, my research, it said that it was basically, I guess um, it originates from um, um, from milk, and it was used by the ancient um, Egyptians, and eventually, over the course of time, um, became um, produced by the Germans and introduced in the U.S. first um, as a plastic. And it's ironic; it's known as uh, one of the most uh, beautiful plastics. And this is definitely uh, a beautiful, beautiful looking pick. So I've got this. All the picks I'm going to try here. I'm going to kind of grade this against two picks that I use. So you've got this casein picks, and this is not a it's an unbranded one, so this is not Diodario's. I bought it off of a, a maker um, on eBay. And then I've got my trusty Diodario pick right here. And then of course a blue chip pick right here. So the thickness matters. Um, I never know what thickness blue chips are. They're pretty proprietary. They don't even tell you how they make these, or at least I can't come across what the formula is for this but this one is a, a tad 60 i usually play with a tad 50 that i can't locate so i got a tad 60 because i'll find it somewhere in the house and these are not cheap uh, this the price point on this thing is about 40 dollars um the, the adario is 1.5 millimeter and they go um they're not as pricey um you can get a couple of these things a couple meaning i think i've bought a pack of like 12 for i don't know between seven and ten dollars it might have been even cheaper and this casing pick i bought it for um eighteen dollars um so the thickness of this is about 1.95 or two so this is going to be a little bit thicker so let's kind of hear a little bit how they sound let's first try this casing pick and i'll talk a little bit more about that i'm going to use cowboy cards hopefully nothing fancy with jazz <laughs> That was the D'Andrea blue chip. The casing again. The Andrea. Blue chip. Casein. DeAndrea. Blue chip. Casein. The Andrea. Blue chip. couple of things to note about these the one thing that I'm always leery of pick um, uh, videos because you can never know how it feels and part of the beauty of a pick is how it feels in your hand no review can ever tell you that so I kind of I'll kind of talk a little bit more about that so first of all all three of these picks feel really really good in my hand they feel comfortable and at a certain point I'm not thinking that I have an 
object in my hand. It's just as if I'm playing with my fingers. So that's the first thing. So the feel of them are important. Blue chip uh, probably feels the best, to be honest with you, because um, it's sort of like reminds me of all the Fender picks that I've played, the Adario picks that I've played, uh, but it feels like a really good quality. Like it's not going to slip with, and it doesn't have anything funky and no grips or anything like that. So I would say this feels the best. And um, then after that, it's probably uh, the D'Andrea. Um, it feels like that. And this one, the Kaysen pick, I don't know. I just got this. It feels good in my hand, but it's foreign. It's um, very, very smooth. Okay. And um, I don't know. Over time, maybe if I play with it, uh, it'll become more comfortable. But it's a really nice uh, pick from that perspective. So a couple of things about the tones of these picks. You're not going to get this. I don't care even if I probably mic this and had better better equipment other than my phone. Um, I can tell you like what the big difference is and how I would use this. The fattest tone out of all of them, meaning it's almost rolling back the tone, is probably this case and pick. And that's probably because it's 1.95 or 2.0. So I get the darkest of uh, Mar kind of like roll back tone which you're not looking for on an acoustic. So to be honest with you, on the acoustic, I definitely would probably use the Blue Chip or um, the D'Andrea Pro Black. I don't know if it comes across on this um, um, video. But if I'm playing my electric, this will definitely be a player because it'll tame it down. It's not as loud. It actually makes the guitar a little bit more muffled. Whereas you go to the the Andrea, you hear that stuff ringing, and then the blue chip is sort of like an in between. So this is like the center. It's got enough clarity, but enough fatness for an acoustic. And I would say out of all three of these pick, the blue chip is probably what I would go with, with like playing both my electrics and acoustic. Um, I definitely think that if I'm after a, a really warmer sound and warmer, what I mean by that, it's almost like you took the tone and you rolled it back. This case and pick is probably the warmest. And I think it's that way just because it's a 1.95 or 2.0 uh, millimeters. And then, um, the D'Andrea, though, that's the trusty baby. Uh, a lot of jazz guys play this guy, this thing. Uh, Russell Malone, everybody plays this. I'm not playing it just because of that. First of all, it's cost economical. This thing I got for about, I don't know, $17, $18, $20. Um, these things, as I said before, a pack of like 10 12 like about 8 bucks or something like that. Uh, this thing is $40. You don't want to lose it. So anyway, hope you hopefully you got something out of this. Um, um, try picks picks are wonderful and even if this is 45 and you know um and then 18 bucks and 10 bucks it's a cheaper way than swapping pickups especially an electric and um really play around with the feel that's the most important thing when you buy these things and when you watch these reviews um, sometimes you hear the difference sometimes you don't hear it it's about the feel and about the control that it affords you and it'll help um, improve your playing all right then, thank you for, for watching, bye now.